with the with that being said, now Rich the Kid, very interesting career trajectory, came out fucking with QC back in the day and was like a upcoming rapper in the Atlanta scene. Mm -hmm. Had a lot of big features early on, had a lot of joints with Migo, Skip of the Flippa, Kodak Black, was featured on all kinds of stuff. He was I remember him as far back as 2013 in that loaded video by a uh, um Young Thug and Pee Wee mm -hmm. Longway and all that. And then he winds up starting his own label. He signs Jay Critch and Famous Dex. Then he drops Plug Walk, which becomes Plug Walk. Right, viral. Like huge record, yeah, right? That's Le a legitimately banger. hit record. He doesn't follow it up for a while. Mm -hmm. then, no, no, before that, he had no uh, New Freezer with Kendrick Lamar. Mm -hmm. Before Plug Walk, he had New Freezer. And then before Freezer. that, he had Ryan Ryan with the, Ryan Ryan and A with YG. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. going, and the A going crazy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So he's had multiple hits, right? right. Damn, and, niggas got to put some respect on him. And then the last man. one, didn't he have that Tory Lane shit? That talk mm -hmm. to me, baby. Mm -hmm. Wasn't he on that and shit? He was one of the first niggas to bring Wayne out on um on his tape. Um, what was it? Um, fuck, I forgot. But Wayne and Rich the Kid, the one had before Rich shit. Forever, Way yeah. and all that. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. With that being said, ever after that Tory Lanez record, mm -hmm. he's been like shooting a lot of bricks. Mm -hmm. We Facts. haven't we haven't heard shit from him since then. And I kind of considered that tape that Young Boy and Rich the Kid did. I consider that. Rich, um, young boy extending an olive branch. He was trying to help be, us because he wasn't like at that time, he wasn't the great Rich the Kid that he was a couple years ago when Famous Dex came and Jay Critch and all of them. Like, now nah, this is struggling, Rich the Kid. He give you this olive branch, this olive branch, nigga, and then you pop up with this nigga's main op right now. Yeah, that's very whack. That's gay as fuck. That's and then not, you say, yeah, I was just doing a show and. Bro, you sat down, had dinner with this man, and took pictures and shit in the restaurant. Like, mm. nigga, you doing too much. And then, and then he tried to lie and come out and say, "Yeah, young boy, cool with it." It don't appear so, nigga, because he just called you out on his radio show and said, "Like, hey, what's up with that, nigga? You hanging with the ops and all that shit? Like, what's going on?" I like how um, we had no clue that young boy was getting the show, and then it popped up. Show's airing tomorrow. He yeah, he getting a show. He has a show. That's yeah, where this boy? happened at. No, he has. Oh, he has. He has I, a, I thought it was he, a radio show. It is a radio show. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, so he been. Did this is a new radio show or yeah. it been going? I think on? it started it's new. recently. Oh wow. Yeah. Okay. Like recently, like yeah. these, like last week. Hmm. Yeah. Oh shit, I didn't know that. But it's popping mm -hmm. already because yeah. it's of young boy it and young anything boy. he stamp is gonna go crazy. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, like, th that's why. In any other situation, the only reason I listened to a Rich the Kid verse the year that that tape came out was because it was on a young boy tape. Mm. And let's be honest, the project was. Kind of whack. It's pretty trash because yeah. it's Rich the Kid. Right? Because okay. it's Rich the Kid. Yeah. And um, and I used to fuck with Rich the Kid Me during too. all that. That's how I he know his repertoire. He didn't transition well no. into like later years. He was more so with the skip of the flip, but that's when he was at his best. When it was like skip of the flip of days, when Migos and them was still, you feel me, getting they like solidifying they stardom, even though they was like the main ones. It was still Skip a, a bunch of other motherfuckers around. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Jose yeah. Guapo, all, all, yep. all that type of yep. shit. You feel me? That's when Rich the Kid was like Drug Rich heyday. Peso. Yeah, all them motherfuckers. Uh, mm -hmm. Rich all Pablo them Juan. RX niggas and all yeah, that yeah, shit. Yeah. Back, Pablo Juan. All that shit. So it's like, nigga, you're not the same Rich the Kid. Young boy was helping the fuck out you. You didn't transition well from those days to now type shit. At you all. You fucked up your only important alliance. I'm sure you got other alliances, but they're nowhere near as important as Young Boy. You're an idiot. Now, me, Adam, and House Phone, remember, we were arguing earlier. I think you see you, you in the chat, too. And we was talking about... um, Because because Adam was all like, oh, like if Rich the Kid would was, was focused on being an A&R, he could be one of the best A&Rs in the game. And I was like, yeah, he he's really good at picking talent. That's true. You know what I'm saying? But what I said was, he was a bigger star than any of those dudes at the time. Like when he put on Dex, when he put on Jay Critch, he was like, he had a way more star power. Now, obviously, Dex was super popping in the underground mm -hmm. and had like this whole wave and shit. And Jay Critch was popping in New York and that whole little scene. But like Rich the Kid was like a whole dude out here. Mm -hmm. And who was who was he? Was it who was he beefing with? Was it Uzi? Wasn't it? It yeah, was. It was. And then he, then, th then they had down. the fruitiest looking fight ever, and yeah. and, and he wound they up. They pulled up. Didn't they pull up on yeah, each other? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he, I think Uzi at like a on Starbucks Rich. or some yeah, shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Rich wasn't trying to like get four years ago, man. Yeah, 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 it was a while ago. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that hurt him a lot too. Facts, mm -hmm. because like you know, Uzi like five feet. 
and then he was standing behind, rich kid was standing behind his security, Uzi was in the middle of the street, it appeared by itself, he probably had people with him, but when it was on the on the street, it was just Uzi by himself, mm-hmm. and it was like three of uh, rich kid security guards, and rich kid was standing behind his security guards, he looked like he didn't want no static with Uzi. Was that around the same time when, um, did he get robbed? Like somebody? Yeah, he, yeah, it was mm-hmm. all within a close period of time, yeah. and also, you know, Let's keep it a stack. Uzi's from North Philly at the end of the day. Right. So people might mm-hmm. think that he, you know, this or that. But, you know, he going to get North Philly when it comes down to it. 